I'm not gonna she give up, Steven. <laughs> We're the Rahajan Sisters, and in this digital series, we're taking a deep dive into the world of sustainable fashion. And it all happens right here in Pangkalan Kerinci. From the plantation to Viscos Rayon to fashion. You see, it's just all part of the process. As you can hear, it is super noisy. This huge structure is APR's 240,000 ton capacity Viscos Rayon Mill, one of the newest and best designed mills in the world. It's actually quite daunting, Maria. Just standing here, I feel like I'm in a science fiction movie. Exactly. Shall we? After you. So far, we've seen nature take its course, from the nursery to renewable plantations. From there, it gets a bit more complicated, so I hope you're paying attention. Cellulose fiber is extracted, washed, and treated to produce dissolving pulp, which is then dissolved and crystallized into viscose fibers. This stuff right here is viscose. This is the stuff that will eventually be transformed into clothing. The viscose is put into these huge industrial dryers. It's loud but super effective. And for some reason, doing this is extremely satisfying. Let me try. The next key part of the process is quality control. And this is the laboratory where it takes place. At Asia Pacific Rayon, 70% of the workforce are millennials. And here's one of those millennials. Her name is Bella. Uh, yang saya perhatikan ketika melakukan pengecekan viskos itu, yang pertama kita bisa melihat visual dari viskos itu sendiri. Nah, kalau di sini kami itu melakukan uh, berbagai macam pengujian atau pengecekan dari berbagai macam parameter. Misalnya yang pertama itu ada pengecekan whiteness, uh, ada pengecekan spinning fold, ada pengecekan opiu, itu oil pick up, ada pengecekan moisture, uh, dan ada pengecekan tenacity. Nah, tadi kita dikasih tahu, uh, sebenarnya bagian yang paling susah itu adalah pengambilan satu helai serat viskos. Bener ya? Bener, 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 bener gak? Boleh kita coba lihat gak? Oh, kakak mau lihat pengecekan oh, prosesnya? Ya, ya. Oh, oke okay, boleh. boleh. Ya. Yuk. <laughs> this part of the process is all about testing the quality of the fiber. Now, being twin sisters, we're never ones to shy away from some healthy competition. I think the stage is set, Maria. Let's see how hard this actually is. Wish me luck. Okay, kita ambil ya satu sample fibernya. Oh, wow. Nah, ini dia. Terus, nah, kebaca kan fiternya 1.51. Wah, good. Hi, Jared. Hi, Jared, guys. How do I distract her? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Maria. That's how it's done. As expected, I got it on the first try. These are spinners, as many as the eye can see. Once made and checked, the fibers are then spun into yarn. And this is the warehouse where everything is packed up and sent out to fabric makers and garment manufacturers to nearly 20 countries around the world, where finally our clothes are made. It's important that this process is as transparent as possible. We were the, one of the first viscose uh, manufacturers in the world actually to um, set up a traceability platform called Follow Our Fiber. And we use blockchain technology to trace um, each kilogram of fiber essentially back to the nursery of origin. We also have the ability to link up with our customers so that they can carry through that vision over the value chain um, in, in their process as well. But let me show you how it works. Okay, yes, great. we would love to. Okay, so you can just scan the barcode There we go. It's interactive, so you can click on each of these um, mm. highlighted areas, and then it will actually zoom into where in Indonesia oh, it's where exactly. The exactly. Is. It shows you the names of the different plantations where it's come from, 
and then it goes to the dissolving wood pulp mill. So, so US like as we well. Said, it's all about transparency. Absolutely. Thank yes. you, Susan. You're welcome. One thing we couldn't help but notice is the amount of female forklift drivers we see in the warehouse. It's not something you see every day, right? Lebih banyakkan perempuan daripada laki-laki karena ya perempuan dianggap dan dinilai lebih telaten dan lebih hati-hati dalam proses bekerja dalam dan juga ngangkat belnya kan lebih bel di sini kan sensitif nih kak gampang sobek. There you have it, guys. Female representation where you've least expect it. Next up in the process is where our Visco Strian creations will be revealed.